We talked to several cattle producers who told us that if WOTUS is allowed to go forward, it will most likely have a major impact on their livelihood. The WOTUS regulation is just more authority to the federal government and the EPA regulating waters of the United States, which goes counter to what the original law was that said that they only had jurisdiction over navigable waters. And we haven't had a problem with that, but we do believe that in most of these cases with waters that are statewide, local, whatever you want to call it, we're far better off having local regulatory bodies work with us on those issues. They understand them better. They vary so much from one region of the country to another. And if we're not careful, uh, they'll regulate, uh, you know, a swamp in your backyard. It's, uh, I know that sounds dramatic and it sounds extreme, but that's historically what happens with government regulations. We're closely watching the waters of the United States rule. With us in Pennsylvania, we are part of the Chesapeake Bay. It has huge impact on what we're able to do in, with our cattle and within our operation. Some, some streams that are inter, intermittent streams, some low spots, it's going to concern us greatly. We just hope that we're able to come through at some point with a realization EPA finally realizes that they're hurting agriculture. The problem with WOTUS is it is a law that really has not had any defined rules. And consequently, when you do not have defined rules, uh, whoever's implementing those rules uh, has a different take. So it's never even across the board. And uh, for example, this year we've been wet in Nebraska. There could be spots that haven't been wet in 20 years that are wet now and they could be regulated. So you may have to have a permit to go farm your land. You may have to have a permit to move your cattle. Uh, you might have to fence off wet areas that your cattle normally uh, would be into or, or take, you know, riparian areas and waterways and stuff like uh, this. That uh, It needs to be well thought out and it has not been. When you visit BeefUSA.org to file your comments, why not also join NCBA to help in the fight against regulations that threaten cattle producers and their livelihood? It's easy to do. Just click Become a Member or call 1-866-USA-BEEF. That'll allow you to join cattlemen and women across the country who are supporting and protecting our way of life.